Thank you so much for joining me for today's demo of Clone This User in Lightning. This free app is available on the App Exchange, and we are proud to release Clone This User with Lightning Optimization. You can now use Clone This User as a utility bar item on the tab through the App Launcher, on a user record, as well as on your mobile device. Your admin can come to our listing here and scroll down to our customization guides to find both the installation guide as well as the user guide for Lightning. Your admin can easily place clone this user in your utility bar. Once it's available, you can click to open clone this user directly from your utility bar area. Once you click to open clone this user, you, you have a few options. You of course can search here for your user to clone, or you can also pop out this component so that you can drag it around and use it where you need to. We think this is gonna be very useful for our folks who need to put clone this user next to a spreadsheet or an email where you might have a list of users that you need to clone. First though, in order to clone a user, we want to search for the user that we would like to clone simply by entering their name, either first name or last name, and then you'll find a list of users that you might be able to clone. Of course, once you see these users, you'll be able to see their profile picture if they've populated it, as well as their name, their profile, their username, their status, as well as their user, user license. From here, find the user that you would like to clone and simply click on their tile or on their hyperlinked name. Either way, once you click, it will take you to a new screen where you can enter the, the name and the details of the new user you would like to clone. So enter their first name, their last name, their email address, and then simply click away to have their username, alias, and nickname populate automatically. Of course, you can edit their username if you need to. And then down at the bottom, we have a few options where you can click to, to generate their new password and notify them immediately, or you can unclick if you're not quite ready. And then we have a few advanced options where you can check to have permission set assignments assigned, queue membership, public group membership, or permission set license assignments. Once you've identified everything you need for this new user, simply click save to hit your final screen. On the final screen, it will give you either a success or an error message. Most error messages just mean you don't have enough licenses, so talk to your Salesforce provider in order to purchase more. Once you've successfully cloned a new user, you'll be able to see the new user's name as well as where they were cloned from, and these hyper hyperlinks will take you directly to their user profile. Then you'll be able to see if a password was generated, and you can expand clone fields to see which fields were cloned. And then you can, of course, expand advanced options to see those advanced options that you selected on the previous screen. New with Clone This User for Lightning, you can now click back to clone another user, or you can click to view manage packages in case you need to assign the new user to a manage package that requires a license. So let's click back to clone another user. And it's as simple as that. You can search for your user again, enter the details of the new user and keep going. So this is how you can use our pop-out utility item um, for clone this user. Now let's check out how to use clone this user as a page component. You can see it right here on the page. Again, the process is exactly the same. You simply search for the existing user that you would like to clone. Then you can click on their tile and it'll take you to the same screen where you can enter the details of the new user, their first and last name, as well as their email address, and then click away to have their username, alias, and nickname populate for you. Let's check out clone this user on the user record itself. On the user record, if we scroll down to custom links, your admin can add the custom link of clone this user here so you can access it directly from the user record. Once you click this link, it will take you to a new screen. So of course you can see the steps are exactly the same, just the look and feel is a little bit different depending on how you'd like to access clone this user. Next, let's check out clone this user through your mobile device. Your admin can add clone this user on your mobile device in the navigation menu. Once you've logged in through your mobile device, simply click on the navigation to locate clone this user in your navigation. You'll find clone this user and click. And from here, the steps look exactly the same. And then finally, you can click the button to clone another user directly from the screen. Once you do that, it's the same steps again. So thank you so much for joining us again today for this demo of Clone This User. And again, you can find the installation guide and user guide for Lightning on our App Exchange listing. 
We hope you enjoy Duplicates You Can Love by downloading Clone This User today, free from the App Exchange.